Well, welcome to FMC's dedicated Horsham site, looking at Overwatch, our new pre-emergent herbicide. We're using digital technology to try and bring this to you with the current circumstances with isolation and the likes. And I hope uh, you get to enjoy the tour, looking at what we've got in the site. What we've got to show you here today is our dedicated Overwatch trial. And we've got uh, Overwatch in combination with a lot of other uh, pre-emergent products as well, looking in the, both uh, with wheat, barley and canola. So I guess with this trial we've, we've got quite a lot of combinations of um, both pre-emergence and some post-emergent applications in the three crops. And what we're seeing is the, those combinations are quite safe on the crops, first of all. They're very much, um, we haven't seen any, any increased uh, transient bleaching or, or impact on the crop. The whole idea is to see if we can pick up any increase in efficacy as well with the addition of the um, other pre-emergence and some post-emergence in the trial. So it's really important that we get to have an understanding of what might be used out in the marketplace next year in combination with Overwatch so that we can see what is commercially um, a, a really good fit for Overwatch plus other mixing partners. Overwatch is a, a new chemistry available to Australian farmers and consultants uh, next year in 2021. It's a group Q, so it's novel and unique in the way it works on, on the weeds. So predominantly we target ryegrass and there's lots of other weeds as well, so broadleaf and grass weeds, but ryegrass is the number one. And the way it works is pretty much that it um, it uh, affects the ryegrass in being able to uh, photosynthesise. So there's a method of the way the plants go about photosynthesising. And this is like taking away the sunscreen for the weed. The ryegrass will emerge. That's what's different about uh, Overwatch as well. You will see your weeds come up like ryegrass. And then when the activity starts to occur, they turn pink and then they'll die off. So it's very unique in how you get to see the, the chemical actually working in the field. So th this site at Horsham was established primarily to look at ryegrass. We're also not just looking at the weed control, but also looking at crop safety as well. So it's key for us to know how the product works in the three crops of wheat, barley and canola, not just looking at the efficacy, but also crop safety. And that's what predominantly this site is set up for people to come and see at Horsham to, to look at those two aspects of it. So Overwatch has got quite a broad weed spectrum on its label, both grasses and broadleaf weeds. So for control, we have obviously ryegrass as our key target there, but also it has control on bifora, hogweed, wireweed, and lesser loose strife, silver grass, which is good to have as part of it as well, and sow thistle. So it's quite a range of um, control uh, on weeds there. But added to that is also the range that we have um, with suppression on weeds. So barley grass, bed straw, brome grass, cape weed, phalaris, prickly lettuce, wild oats, and wild radish. So that's a pretty extensive list of what Overwatch has control and suppression on. And using that in three crops, wheat, barley and canola is a pretty handy combination. So Overwatch has come out with one rate for all crops, so it's 1.25 litres uh, per hectare. So this just make it nice and simple with Overwatch, there's one rate for all situations. So I guess one of the unique things of Overwatch and being registered in, in wheat, barley and canola is the flexibility of where we can use the product and also that allows for flexibility when things might go wrong. At the site here at Horsham we've got a simulation of a failed canola crop being sown and uh, we've used Overwatch as part of that where we've come back in with barley about 10 days after spraying and sowing just to show that the flexibility is there when things go wrong if you're using Overwatch you've got options that won't inhibit your crop from getting going and going well for the season. So Overwatch is a new pre-emergent herbicide and registered for use in knife point press wheel incorporated by sowing. And the reason for that is that that method of sowing is quite consistent and with Overwatch, as with many pre-emergents, you do need some of that separation between the chemistry and, and the seed that's been planted, the crop seeds. So from time to time with Overwatch you may see some transient bleaching in the crop and we've used this trial site here at Horsham to try and demonstrate that by having two times rate as part of the program, just so that we can show if things go wrong or there's a heavy rainfall event or something like that immediately after sowing to show that the crop may go through a transient bleaching phase and then come through it out the other end. So all three crops are registered for use, 
so they can actually digest the chemistry and then come out the other end. So without, as far as our data has shown, shown show, so far, we haven't had um, any loss of yield impact from that transient bleaching early in the season. Mm -hmm.